These materials come from various places. Antique stores, thrift shops, junkyards. They are the raw materials that Clark Bedford turns into art. Each piece speaks for itself and reflects how Bedford was feeling and thinking at the time. It's making a whole thing that has a whole feeling out of individual parts and allowing the individual parts to still show their individuality and their histories and their feel. So I think that's a modernist notion. Creating assemblages is what Bedford is focusing on right now. In years past, he showed interest in sculpture and photography. A sense of humor has always been part of what he creates. This, for example, is his take on the Temple of Abu Simbel in Upper Egypt. It's a famous photograph of the Colossi in ancient Egypt, and only I'm using Cupid dolls, and they're cast in plaster, and then you photograph it using multiple sources, candles, flashlights, all these little darkroom tricks um, that people don't have to do anymore. <laughs> Covering the walls of his home in Hyattsville, Maryland, with his artistic expressions, he says, gives him a sense of satisfaction and comfort but it's not just the interior of the house. I feel kind of like, well, I'm living in this like little world, you know, and so when I go out into the world and you get, you're get you in traffic for two hours or whatever, you come home to this and it's kind of, ah, you know. And even when he drives around in his 1995 Chevy Caprice wagon, Bedford remains in his own world. Ride around in and it's like your decorated horse. No different really than someone who dresses up in clothes, even like in fashion, um, and sort of puts on a bit of a show, you know, probably mostly to make themselves feel good. I don't understand why more people don't, don't do this. And wherever he goes, his car grabs attention and often admiration. It's like being a street musician. You know, it's something which doesn't impose on them, but on the other hand, they, it, it's a little unusual. I think people like that. People stop all the time and then stop in the middle of the road and take pictures all the time. It's curious. <laughs> it's quite curious. Um, every time I look at his stuff, I see something I hadn't seen before. People either hate it or they love it, and so that's how I know it's art. Whether people love it or not, artist Clark Bedford says he's happy with what he's doing. He enjoys living in his own little world. For writer Fiza El Mastery, I'm Faith Lapidus, VOA News.